This is Twit. So hello, everybody. We're doing a little Twit special before we uh, do the Twit show this afternoon. Brooke Drum is here. He's from PrinterBot, P-R-I-N-T-R-B-O-T dot com. It was a, you might remember, it was a Kickstarter project to build a 3D, inexpensive 3D printer for education. And Brooke's got a company doing it. This is a PrinterBot Plus. This is the high end. Yeah. Hi, Brooke. Right. Welcome. Thanks. Came down from the Sacramento area to drop this off. That's right. Is this, this for is us? Yours. This is yours, man. Hey! We got a 3D printer. Nice. Nice. Ew. Score. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we got it. <laughs> Print things. Exactly. Well, look at all the things that... Uh, now, uh, 3D printing is suddenly you know, huge in the news, uh, right. uh, partly because of Brie Pettis and his maker bots, sure. um, uh, which just got acquired for almost half a billion dollars by the big commercial 3D mm -hmm. printing company. What, what is happening with 3D printing as a hobby? Yeah, I think the, the technology right now is really hobbyist. Uh, it's interesting. Ars Technica just did an article on one of our cheapest models, two ninety nine, um, for the. Wait a minute, two hundred ninety nine dollars? Not for this. For the PrinterBot Simple, it's. A, and that's a kit. It's a kit, but you can get it for three ninety nine as assembled. Okay. So it's really the cheapest three D printer on the market in the world, right now. And they put it up against a MakerBot Replicator Two, and uh, it's actually a really good article. It's funny because you know how John C always is the curmudgeon of uh, right. you know everything right uh, this guy Lee uh, kind of took that tact and Man, but, I, but I appreciated it because it was like you know what all 3d printing is actually hard right now it feels like the early days of PCs it, frankly it really is yeah there's a guy that works for me Carl Ubus the hot end uh, that little red sleeve is covering the hot end the technology that melts the plastic it's thermoplastic um, he actually worked in uh, at HP in Silicon Valley back in the 70s and he always tells me Brooke this is just like the PC days yeah, yeah. He, he had the same boss as Waz and new Waz yeah. went to the computer club it whole, feels like that. Nine yards